Hello, thank you for joining me for yoga class today. If you know me, you know that I love taking requests because I really like to design classes based on your needs. So recently, just a few days ago, I got a request from someone that's having some issues with feet. So sometimes when we're in our yoga poses, this might feel uncomfortable for our feet. I think a lot of this has to do with the fact that we use our feet so much, but we don't give enough time, support, therapeutics to our feet to balance out all the work that they're doing for us. So stress can get accumulated in that area. And then when we ask our feet to be the foundation in um, standing poses, for example, or downward facing dog, that can be a little uncomfortable. So today's sequence is gonna be all about finding some relief for the feet. So this is our happy feet and legs yoga class for today. When you treat your foot problems with yoga, you end up treating back pain and hip pain. You're also helping with structural problems. So there are a lot of benefits to paying attention to the feet. Uh, it stretches the yoga poses to help the feet, stretches out muscles, leads to a greater range of motion, and helps uh, heal the root issue of inflammation. So let's just get started in a comfortable position. As you can see, I've got my shins grounded. Now, I understand that that might be a lot of compression in the knees for some of you. If it's okay, I'd like to invite you to come on to your toes. So let's just try curling the toes and then sitting the hips back to the heels. Now, as you come into this, you might feel discomfort underneath the toes right away. If you're used to doing this like I am, then you won't feel as much discomfort. The practice is all about releasing that. So let yourself start off. If this is the very first time you're doing it, maybe you just take a couple seconds or a few rounds of breath. Um, if you've done this before, maybe you try and hold a little longer. So we're gonna do three rounds of this toe curling with our hips on our heels. You don't have to take all three rounds. So just take what's available in your body today. And the more you practice it, the longer you'll be able to hold this. So as you can see, I've got my shoulders above my hips and then my ears above my shoulders. You can go ahead and bring your arms out to the sides or you can relax your hands on your thighs. Then think about just leaning back a little bit if you need to intensify the stretch at the toes. If you do not need to intensify, then go back to your upright position. Now, whatever you choose, tuck your chin to your chest. Feel a stretch at the upper back into the neck. So just in this shape, we've got a lot going on, a lot of release of tension. Now we're going to let ourselves come out of it, working our way into a neutral tabletop position. Take a round of breath, spread the fingers and then just tap out the tops of the feet. So we're just releasing any tension. Then if you separated the knees, bring them back together, curl the toes again, let the big toes meet, check and make sure that all 10 toes are curled and then come back into that straight spine, axial extension. Now hold here, practice keeping this pose. Decide if you want to lean back. Remember if that's too much, back out of it. Tuck your chin towards your chest. Now maybe you close your eyes and bring awareness to your breath. Taking a deep inhalation through the nostrils. Exhale, open your mouth, take a sigh of relief. And again. One more.
Lift your hands, reach them forward, and tap the tops of the feet out. So that's round two. We're gonna take one more round. When you're ready, curl the toes, walk the hands back. Now, if you're thinking, wow, this is torture, I don't like this, why is she making us do this? I promise you later on when we're in our down dog, when we're in our standing balance, you will be so glad that we did this work here in the beginning. Now find your breath. Inhale to the top of the breath. Now as you exhale, release as slowly as possible. And repeat. Deep inhale all the way to the top of the breath. As you exhale, feel the shoulders soften away from the ears, and then take one more round of breath. Exhale, let it go. Reach your hands forward, lift the hips, and then tap out the toes. Look back, bring the knees together now. Leave the toes uncurled, bring your hips towards your heels. So as I was saying before, I understand that this seated position, kneeling position, kind of a combination of both might not be for everyone and that's okay. So if this doesn't feel good to you, then maybe you take your blocks, position your blocks underneath your seat, one block or two. If you have two blocks, that's going to lift your hips higher than your knees, so that's going to open the angle at the knees. This is my preferred way to sit in meditation, so this is a type of seat that you might want to explore if you've got knee issues. So you might want to opt out of this one, or you might try this one. To try this one, you're going to need to have your seat down, knees together, so you're feeling the tops of your feet as the foundation on your mat, tops of the feet and the shins. Take your fingertips outside of the hips. Now let's just practice lifting one knee. As you lift that knee, feel a stretch at the top of the foot. And as you exhale, let that knee come down. On your next inhale, lift the other knee, feel a stretch at the top of the foot, and then exhale, lower it down. Now, this third round, let's practice lifting both knees. You'll feel yourself lean back, and you'll feel your glutes cradled in the arches of your feet. Maybe you walk your fingertips back for more support, depending on how much you're leaning. Nice stretch for the tops of the feet. Gently come out. Now, if that felt really good to you, you can take some more rounds of that, just exploring that stretching of the top of the foot. If you're ready to move on, lift your hips enough to bring your feet out to one side. Come on to your seat, extend your legs in front of you. So we're gonna bring our legs together, let the feet meet, and then what we're gonna do is we're going to take one hand, slide the glute back, and then the opposite hand to the opposite side, okay? Legs are straight. So we're coming into what's called Paschimottanasana, which is a seated forward fold. At this point, you might want to invite in the prop of a strap if you feel that you need it in order to reach further. Some of you might be able to take your hands all the way to your feet. So if you do not have a strap, don't worry about that. You can use a belt or you can use a scarf. Some people even use a towel. So you're just finding a prop that's going to create some distance from your hands to your feet so that you don't feel like you have to reach or pull with your hands. So if you want to grab a strap, you can pause the video, grab it, and then come back to the practice. Now take your hands outside of the hips. Gaze is forward. Inhale, sweep the fingers up. And then as you exhale, hinge at the hips. Now we want to keep the legs down. So you should feel the hamstrings and the calf muscles. Maybe the hands find the feet. 
If you really liked the toe curl that we were just doing, maybe you take your hands to your toes, the back of the toes, and curl them towards you. If you cannot reach your feet, this is where you can invite a strap, taking the strap to the arches of the feet, hands to either end of the strap. Now, whether you're grabbing your feet or the strap, with each exhale, fold a little deeper. So we're stretching the back of the body. Nice stretch for the hamstrings and also the back. And I can feel a really nice release in my low back. So the idea here is to fold a little deeper with each exhale as you're ready. Hands on the strap or hands on the feet. You decide this is your practice. And we'll take one more round of breath here. Release the hands. And how lift the head. Come back to a straight spine. So we're gonna take that strap with us as we come onto our backs and do some reclined work. So you wanna make sure that as you come onto your back, you have enough space for your head and your back and you wanna take your strap with you so it's somewhere where you can grab onto it. So just let the strap be beside you for now. Go ahead and come onto your back. Bring your heels in line with your glutes. Feel your tailbone, your back, your shoulders, and your head connected and then tuck your chin towards your chest. Allow yourself a few rounds of breath here. Now take your strap. We're gonna work one leg at a time. So go ahead and lift your right leg. Take the strap to the arch of the foot, extend this leg up. Hands are to the strap. And bring both ends of the strap into the right hand. Let the left leg lengthen, flex the left foot. Now, you might want to start with both hands on the strap. We're going to just work with continuing to stretch that foot out. So inhale, point your right toes up. And then exhale, flex your foot, bringing your toes down. Feel that stretch in the calf muscle. Inhale, point the toes. Exhale, flex the foot. One more round. Inhale, point. Exhale, flex. Now keep that left foot flexed so we're activating the left leg at the same time, feeling that left heel on the mat. And with both your hands, now pull your right leg towards your body, but pay attention to keep your legs straight. Deepening the stretch of the hamstring. For two more rounds of breath. And on your next exhale, bring the foot back to neutral. Now take both ends of the strap into the right hand. Let that left arm ground down. And then gently start to open that right leg out to the right. So this is a reclined hand to big toe. Feel a really great stretch at the right inner thigh. If you notice that that left hip is trying to come up, bring your left hand to the front of the left hip. Just gently guiding it down.
On the next inhale, we'll use our energy to lift that foot up, straight up. Take this drop in the left hand. Now, release the right hand, let it ground down. Cross the right leg over the left. Now keep the right shoulder down, keep the right leg straight, but the right foot is going over to the left. So now we're getting a nice spinal twist. And we can work with the IT band. If you want more intensity, you can pull that strap towards your body. So thinking left hand coming towards the left side of the body. Release that pull, inhale, lift the leg straight up, back to center. Now bend your right knee. Rather than bringing the right knee into the chest, take it to the outside of the ribs. So we're coming into half happy baby. Your hand can stay working on the strap or you can take your hand to the pinky edge of your foot so your arm is gonna be inside of your right knee because the right knee is going wide. Now, as you pull your right foot down, think about pressing your foot up to the ceiling. Feel the hip open up. Pause and breathe here. Release your right hand from your foot. Interlace your fingers, take your palms to your right shin. Draw circles with your right big toe, keep that left foot active. Getting some ankle rotations, working with ankle mobility. And then circle around opposite direction. Now with your hands, pull that right knee into the right shoulder. Keep pressing through the left heel. This is our wind relieving pose. And go ahead and release that right arm. Let it rest out to the right. Take the left hand to the outside of the right thigh and gently guide the right knee over to the left. Coming back into our spinal twist, but going a little deeper. Right shoulder stays down. Right knee is moving to the left. You can turn your gaze to the right if you wanna make the spiraling deeper, or you can keep your face straight up towards the ceiling. Close your eyes, feel into the back space. Gently release that left hand from the right thigh. And on your next inhale, lift that right knee up, roll onto your back. And gently set that right foot down. From here, bend the left knee. Bring the heels in line with the glutes. And then extend both legs. With both legs extended and resting down, we're coming into a little mini Shavasana just for a few rounds of breath. Just noticing, taking inventory of the body, noticing how the right side of the body feels from the hip down to the foot, and then noticing how that feels on the left side of the body. Know that we're coming into the left side next. Couple more rounds of breath. Preparing to come into the other side, bend that left knee. 
reach for your strap, lift the left foot off the mat, take the strap around the arch of the foot, send the foot straight up. So we've got the strap, each end in each hand. We want that leg to be straight, and then we're gonna activate the right leg. So we're gonna flex the right foot, feel the right heel on the mat. As you inhale, point the left toes. Oh, great stretch at the top of the foot, feels so good. And then exhale, flex the foot, bring the toes down to the face. And again, inhale, point, happy, happy feet. Exhale, flex. We've got one more round. Inhale, point, and exhale, flex. Now from here, take both your hands, pull the strap towards your body. Keep that leg straight. Going in for a deeper stretch for the hamstring. Hold and breathe here. Let's take one more round of breath. Bring both ends of the strap together. Take the strap in the left hand. Open the right hand out. Let the right arm rest down. Take an inhale breath. As you exhale, open the leg out. Now, as you open that left leg out and feel a nice deep stretch at the left inner thigh, you might take your right palm to gently rest at the front of the right hip, just reminding the right hip to stay grounded and connected to the mat. So I'm feeling a deep stretch at my left inner thigh and I also feel a really nice stretch at my right hip. It's a great posture to open up the legs to find length and to release tension. Preparing to switch it up. Inhale, lift the leg up. Take the right hand to the strap. Now, release the left arm, let it ground down. We're gonna take the leg in the opposite direction. Start to bring the left leg over to the right. Keep the left shoulder down. So as I brought my leg over, I felt multiple cracks in my spine, which I really like because that is an adjustment that I just gave to myself without even trying. So if you feel any, if you feel or hear any cracking or popping in your spine, don't worry, just let the adjustment happen. We'll take one more round of breath. Remember you can pull the strap closer towards you if you wanna go deeper. And if that's too much, you can always back out. Now using our energy on an inhale, lift the leg up, straight up. Strap goes back to the left hand. Now this is where we're gonna come into our half happy baby. We take a deep bend in the left knee. We decide if we wanna keep our hand to the strap, or maybe we take our hand to the pinky edge of the foot. Keeping that right leg active, flexing the right foot, pulling that left foot down, left knee is wide. Left arm is to the inside of the left leg. Great posture for hip opening. And from here, we'll come into our wind relieving pose. So we'll let go of the foot, let go of the strap, keep the knee bent, interlace the fingers, take the palms to the shin, pull the left knee into the left shoulder. Draw circles with the left big toe. Circle around opposite direction. Hug that left knee into the left shoulder. And then open that left arm out to the left. Take the right hand to the outside of the left thigh, guide the knee over. Spinal twist. Keep 
the left shoulder down. Remember, you can look over to the left, looking away from the knee, spiraling a little deeper, or you can keep your face straight up. Close your eyes, feel into the back space. Release that right hand, bring it out. Inhale, lift the left knee, roll onto the back. Exhale, bring the left foot down, straighten the leg, coming into a mini Shavasana. Feel into the left leg from the hip all the way down to the foot. Taking inventory of the physical body. Now noticing how both legs feel. Taking a couple more rounds of breath. Inhaling deeply all the way to the top of the breath. Exhale really slowly. One more time. From here, we'll transition from grounded feet and leg work to standing. You can pause and stop your practice here, or you can continue on for part two if you'd like more.